time I am going to talk to you about the sandpaper numerals. We have given you a facsimile of these in your resource package. The sandpaper numerals are the symbols that represent the quantity. We introduce these at the same time as we start to introduce the red and blue counting rods. We take the first three numbers, one, two, three, and we introduce them to the child. This is one, this is two, this is three. And immediately we start playing different games with them. This is one, this is two, this is three. Can you point to three? This is three. This is one, this is two. Can you point to two? This is two, this is three, this is one. Can you point to one? Can you take one and put one on your head? Can you take two and put two under the chair? And so on and so forth. Lots of games and interaction. Can you find three and give me three? After they've become familiar with one, two and three, we will invite them to learn four, five, and six until they recognize all the numerals from zero to nine. The other purpose of this activity is as a preparation for writing. And so whenever we use our sandpaper numerals or our sandpaper letters, our focus is on the correct formation. So I'm now going to go through the numerals and show you the way that we teach the formation. Classically, we have it on the table. The child uses their non-dominant hand to hold the sandpaper numeral down and we ask them to fold their fingers in and to use two fingers for tracing. We start at the top and trace down. So for one, at the top, Two, three, four. This is two strokes. I lift my fingers off and down. Five, sometimes it creates a challenge. So if this is the case, we will tell the child, starting at the top, this is the neck. Now give a big belly and put the hat on the top. Six. Seven. While eight looks like two circles, it's actually made with one continuous stroke. What I've found is very helpful for children is to have them think of creating and connecting up again. And connecting where they started. As we know from the different fonts on our computers, numerals vary. Nine is circle and a stroke 
and with zero, importantly, we start at the top. The way that you can practice this with your child at home is to take something like table salt, semolina, cornmeal, anything with a little texture and grit, if you're lucky enough, sand, and place it in a tray. I will now demonstrate how we do this.